Hey, it's John. Welcome to 4 Minutes in the Front Row. Today I'm talking about having hope for the future, living in the moment, and celebrating our experiences of life. Now, if we're new friends, I want to share something that I'm passionate about. In 2005, I helped co-found Front Row Foundation, a charity that creates front row experiences for children and adults braving life-threatening illnesses. And what's super cool about the charity is it's not just about a day. It's about a lifestyle. It's how we live every day of our life. How we have hope for the future and the power within that. I see that with these experiences that we create. Like, for example, Thomas K., a past recipient who was going to go see the Rugby World Cup. I remember hearing from the family that Thomas was extra motivated during rehab because he wanted to stand during the national anthem at the game. Think about in your own life when you have an event that you're looking forward to, something like a family vacation and you start talking about all the things you're gonna do and how it's gonna be, there's great power in the present moment when we think about and enjoy what something will be like down the road. Now it's not about not living in the moment, it's about taking the future and bringing it to the present moment and feeling that now, using that as drive and motivation to achieve or progress or just feel fulfilled or, or joyful in the process. I think about living in the moment and I think of, you know, one of our recipients, Melissa Weaver. And Melissa went to go see Sarah McLaughlin and in my follow-up conversations with her after her front row event, I was talking to her about what does it mean to you to live a front row life? And she said it means to live in the moment, you know, to be fully present. So many times we are caught up in the future and the past that we forget to experience right now. In some key events in my life, I've had friends walk up to me and say, John, just stop. Pause for a moment, look around, soak this in. Isn't this awesome? I do that now at almost every wedding that I attend. I walk up to the bride and the groom and I just stop and say, hey, pause for just a moment and just look around. All the love that surrounds you, this great moment. You know, Take a couple mental photographs, some video in your mind of this moment and really feel it. I think about Juliana Ray, who I interviewed on the Front Row Factor podcast, and she's a mindfulness expert. And she talks about taking a moment to just ask yourself, what do I see either in my mind or outside in the world? What do I hear? What, what do I hear in my mind or outside in the world? And what do I feel? Maybe feel in my body or, or outside, you know, the, 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 the temperature on my skin or whatever it might be. But to be fully present in the moment, that is the key to living. And then it's to celebrate. There's nothing wrong with looking back on our lives and celebrating the great experiences, looking at the pictures and the video. You know, one of the things that brings me great joy about our charity is when I hear stories of recipients and their families looking through the photo books that we create. We're watching the videos that have been made, highlighting their day and, and their life. I think about the power in celebrating what we've done, where we've been. And again, it's not about living in the past. It's about celebrating the past. So where in your life can you be celebrating more? You, know, you live this amazing life so far. Yes, some of it's probably been very difficult and, and many great moments along the way also. But how can you go back and to feel and experience again so many of the great moments? Sitting around the campfire and telling stories or opening up your computer and flipping through some pictures. Either way, living a front row life embodies these three principles having hope for the future, living in the moment, and celebrating your experiences. A balance of these three. How are you doing in your life balancing these three? Do you need more of one of these? Maybe less of one of these? Maybe you're spending too much time in the past and need to be more present in the moment. Or maybe you're spending too much time thinking about the future and not enough in the moment. But striking a balance here is the key. That's it for today. I can't wait to talk to you next week for our four minute in the front row video. If you've been inspired by this video today, check out frontrowfoundation.org and read some of the stories, look at some of the pictures, watch some of the videos. We'd love to have you be part of our community. And if you are part of the community, thank you for all of your support over the years. Until next time, keep living your life in the front row. Take care.